Hello and welcome to my channel. Now, today we're going to be looking at the Aperture M9. It finally came and you guys advised me to get this. You said that I might regret not buying this one because I did have the uh, Godox um, LED 36 LED. 36 was it? Yes. <laughs> I did have that light. In fact, I've still got it. I've kept it because it's a handy little light, but it didn't give me um, the uh, power that I wanted when the light was behind me. Now today's an overcast day so we're not going to be able to compare to the vlog where I was using the, the Godox light. But I'm going to have a, a good look at this one and it looks good so far, build quality is pretty good and it charges up with an internal lithium battery, charges up like you'd charge a mobile phone which is really handy and look how thin it is and it comes with this handy little uh, cold shoe adapter. So we're going to have a close look at that whilst we walk around what was a lunatic asylum uh, overlooking Huddersfield. Um, it was Storrs Hall Lunatic Asylum. That's what it was known as. Now Storrs Hall Hospital closed in 1992, but it was founded to look after World War I soldiers who were shell-shocked. But uh, most of its occupants were actually uh, classed as uh, pauper lunatics and they were uh, kept here under the Lunacy Act uh, 1801. So this place does actually have quite a bit of history for me as well. My mum actually worked here for most of her nursing career and uh, I have fond memories of uh, driving up here with my dad and my two sisters and picking my mum up from work uh, when it was actually a uh, Storzall hospital. And in here there were of a range of uh, mentally ill patients but it was really an, an, an institute they were institutionalized a lot of them and they'd been in, in here for many many years uh, but very interesting place with a bit of a checkered history uh, when you do look into it stars hall asylum the grounds are huge they would uh, the nurses would take the patients for for long walks around the asylum and picnics and uh, you could uh, you could literally get lost around here there's woods uh, I'm on one of the old paths here just on the outskirts I do believe that uh, the asylum also had its own fire engine uh, within here and its own water supply which I think uh, came from a well came down from a well up above uh, Stars All Lane on Stars All Lane so it's quite an interesting place but we are reviewing the uh, Aperture M9 Lite. Now I'm not using it right now, but I'm gonna put it on as we have a walk around the grounds. Yeah, there's some excavation work going on down there and the building with the uh, red roof is, uh, is the main building as you would come in. I was hoping to get a lot closer to that, but I can't because it's all fenced off. The maintenance team was quite large. Uh, the, there's a guy that has a memory of uh, having to wind the clock up which is on top of that building and he says it took uh, more than half an hour to get up the steps and uh, use this uh, massive key to wind the clock up which needed doing every week. But we are here to test out and have a look at, put through its paces, the Aperture M9 LED light. So I have attached the light to the side of the camera as I did the Godox light and uh, we've got a little bit of sunlight just coming through the clouds there which I wasn't expecting. So that's the uh, M9 on full power with light behind me and that's it off, that's it on. When you switch it on it takes a little bit to just power up to full power. Anyway I'm going to leave it on, it's on full power and we're just going to have a walk. I'm not sure how long it lasts on full power, I don't think it's that long. Now we have got a little bit of rain so uh, I might have to keep cleaning the lens a little bit uh, but to make this vlog have a little bit more of a flow I'll just let you know that I'm going to record the rest of the vlog with the M9 on full power and uh, we'll just see how we go. Every now and then I might switch it off and I'll, uh, I'll let you know when I'm switching it off so we can make some comparisons. Uh, so yes, I've got uh, fond memories of this area walking around Stars Hall Asylum uh, when it was actually a functioning um, hospital looking after the mentally ill. Now I can actually remember driving along this uh, road as a passenger in, in my mum and dad's car and um, we would come along here and people would be playing tennis. Uh, patients would be playing tennis with nurses 
in in this uh, in these courts. These were tennis courts. We're going to go in there and have a, a little look. And uh, these uh, blocks here that are covered in green moss. This was a little building that you could sit in, a little shelter. And uh, I remember it actually being there. So uh, let's go in and have a look. I have actually played tennis on these two courts. There are two courts, and we're going to go in and have a look now. Um, but I have actually played tennis on these courts as a teenager. So we're going back some years. But let's go in here and have a look. This is weird. It's all overgrown. Can't believe this was a this was a tennis court. Um, I've still got the light on full power, by the way, and I'll let you know if I turn it off. So there's the uh, <laughs> there's the the post that they would put the net on, and the other one is over there. And that's the post that the the net would go on. So I'm uh, I'm standing I'm standing in the middle of what was tennis court for the patients. And I used to come up here and I used to actually manage to play tennis for free here, which was handy back then. So I'm in one of the woods with the light on full power, by the way. So we're in one of these woods that uh, surround the grounds of the asylum. And uh, I've heard stories about the uh, patients uh, wandering off and getting lost in these woods. Uh, probably, probably sort of said that they escaped, but uh, <laughs> they, they most likely just wandered off and didn't know where they were so they would come looking for them out in these woods now on the trees on a lot of the trees and I used to see them I can't see any now there was like a, a square a colored square like a red square or a yellow square on different parts of the uh, of the on, on different parts of the grounds so that um, you could actually say which wood you were looking in or which wood to look in such as if there was a a red square on this tree this would be redwood and they were tagged on they were just nailed onto the trees so they knew it were, whether you were in redwood whether to look in yellow wood or blue wood uh, so hopefully we'll come across one of them and i think that is the story behind the little tags but uh, i can't see any and back in the day uh, there was there was loads of them on these trees i was determined to find one <laughs> but uh, such as here let me just show you this tag that's on this tree and that's what i meant uh, the red tag would mean that this this would be red wood uh, I think I've got that right and if you worked here or had anything to do with Stars All Asylum, Stars All Hospital, Stars All Mental Hospital they were all the titles that it were known as through the years um, tell me if I'm right I think that's what they were for so that you could say yes search Redwood and see if you can find whoever had uh, had got lost now the light is on full power so we're in a, we're in overcast situation and we're in the woods so let's try it off that's it off and that's it on watch it it comes slowly it doesn't come on instantly full power but now it's on full power it sort of slowly builds up uh, but it's on full power now I'll switch it off again and then back on again and now it's on full power just about now. So you can see the results. What do you think? Is it doing better than the Godox? And this is the Aperture M9, remember? So yeah, if you worked here or had anything to do with the Stars Hall Asylum and you've got any stories you want to add, please put them in the comments section below. They even had their own pub here, their own bakery. And um, I do believe they had a ballroom, a really quite a plush affair where they used to have uh, bands and uh, concerts on uh, from local amateur dramatics places used to come and put on shows so they had their own ballroom as well for, for dancing and the, the nurses uh, would uh, get the get the patients up dancing they had lots of parties that they would arrange so there are a lot of accounts of, of, uh, of this place being a really great place and the people that were here, institutionalised here, uh, actually were well, really well looked after. And um, now, sadly, these places are shut down. Like I say, this, this place shut down in 1992 and uh, these people are out in the community and uh, I don't think it's working. I don't think it's a good idea and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there'd be, be a bit of a an about turn on that and these places would be uh, uh, built again to look after uh, severely mentally ill people who do need help and do need protecting. So uh, 
it's interesting. If you've got any thoughts on that that you want to add to the comment section below, please do. So, uh, another little, uh, a little look at the light. So we've got the light on full power. And by the way, I have got the, I've got the orange gel because I wanted to give it, uh, I wanted to give it more of a, a warmer feel, the light. So that might be just knocking a little bit of the brightness out of it. But I think it's, it's generally how I, how I would use it anyway. So uh, I'll just show you the light off. That's it off. And that's it back on. And it takes a couple of seconds to get up to full power. It just gradually builds up. So uh, that's it on. And uh, let's just do it again. That's the light off. And I'm really hoping that this, uh, you can see it now, I can't, but I'm really hoping that when I get back to the computer and look at this, that it's done the trick. Uh, so that's it, back on, and it's built up to full power. So yeah, let's continue with the walk. Now to give you an idea of the size of Stars Hall Asylum, there were 46 wards which accommodated 2,000, in the region of 2,000 patients. And uh, like I say, the grounds around are absolutely beautiful, beautiful woods. And uh, I am obviously in, uh, I'm obviously in blue wood now. So uh, we'll continue. Yeah, so there was uh, around 2,000 uh, patients here. And for the, in the beginnings of the asylum, all the patients were kept separate uh, sex-wise. So the males were kept separate from the females. And the only uh, male um, contact that the females had would be doctors and uh, or the, um, the mortuary staff. Of course, it wasn't always an asylum. It is actually... Uh, the grounds of a, a, an old country house that's what it was originally and uh, the country house was sold on to quite a few people before it was sold to the council and then it was uh, uh, made into into the asylum known as uh, Stars Hall Asylum. Now as I said earlier oh and this is a good test actually for the uh, M9 for the aperture M9 because the light is behind me and it should be combating the light so we should be getting a decent dynamic range in my face we should be getting some light let's turn it off and see what the difference is that's it off i'm hoping for good results here let me know and that's the light on it's just building up now to full power now it sort of gradually builds up so i'm hoping that that is uh, a lot better than the godox uh, i know it's a big ask as i said before it's a big ask for for a light to uh, to fill when you've got the sun behind you but uh, i would like it to uh, I don't think I can get a much more powerful one than this that's so portable. This is a great light. Um, so yes, remember I've got the, the gel on there, the orange gel. So it should be giving me a warmer light in my face. So uh, this is a good test for that. Now, as I said before, there's a bit of a checkered uh, history and quite a lot of uh, stories about Storzall Asylum and the things that went on here in the grounds and within the hospital itself. And I don't know how many of them stories have actually been exaggerated over time. And, uh, you know, um, my mum's told me a few stories of what, what's gone on in there. And uh, my mum wasn't one to exaggerate. I mean, she used to say, can you go and tidy your bedroom? It looks like a bomb's hit it. And uh, true enough, it did look like a bomb had hit it. Here now, Stores Hall has been turned into a university campus for the Huddersfield University. They uh, own quite a portion of it. So uh, we've got students from all over the world uh, staying here. So it's, uh, it's student accommodation. And I'll show you a little bit of that uh, later on. So how's the light doing? Um, is it lighting up my old face? Can you see my old face a lot clearly in this vlog? In these conditions we've got a little bit of sunlight coming through now so i'm sure my face is lit up, lit up. well let's turn around lights on full the lights behind me how is it doing so i'm making my way around trying to find where the morgue was it might be just an interesting uh, little look at that building and uh, the, there was actually uh, padded cells in uh, stars all asylum at, at one time um, and i think there, rem there remained one for, for quite some time i think i remember I can remember my mum telling me about that. Not in use, not used, but it was there. I would have loved to have seen that. I would love to have actually just walked in there and uh, just sort of like, uh, I don't know why. Why would I want to do that? I'm um, questioning myself now. Uh, why would I want to do that? <laughs> but I would. I would have liked to have actually had a look at that. Proper 
one flew over the cuckoo's nest job. <laughs> you might be able to see behind me, in the distance behind me, there's one of the original old buildings and I've just been inside it, but they wouldn't let me record in there because it obviously is the university campus that I'm on. And when you walked into that building, the arches over the ceiling, the plastered arches and just uh, whitewashed, uh, you could really see that it was an asylum. <laughs> it did It did look like uh, one flew over cuckoo's nest. So uh, I'm going to look at another building here. There's, there's not many of the original buildings left, but uh, this next one, I do believe this uh, was called the uh, Arbor Arboretum or something like that. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm pronouncing that right. Arboretum. It was the pub. Uh, so let's have a look at that. So now known as the venue, this building behind me, one of the original buildings, was actually the pub and I think it was called the Arboretum. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And if you have any memories of the pub or uh, any other memories, as I've said before, of Stores Hall Asylum, Stores Hall Hospital, Stores Hall Mental Hospital, they were the titles that it went under through the years. Um, then please put your experiences, comments, anything you know about it, nice little stories. I like little stories. Yeah, put them in the comments section below. Now, I did promise you that I would take you to the morgue, the old morgue, and that is one of the buildings still here. Don't know why they've kept that. I would have thought they would have uh, got rid of that pretty quick. So it's an eerie little building, and I do remember it back in the day, and it's just over this... Uh, this construction fence so I'm gonna pop my camera over for you so you're going over there I'm not so I'm just gonna uh, reach my arm over so that you can have a look so that is the old mortuary building and I don't know whether I got good footage of it or not because I just stuck my hand over the wall uh, but that's the old mortuary and uh, like I say, I don't know why they didn't knock that down straight off. That is one spooky building. So what do we think of the Aperture M9 LED light for vlogging? As a fill light, it's overcast now, it's getting, it's a little bit gloomy, I'd say gloomy. Plenty of light about, but a little bit gloomy. So I'm thinking that it's going to be really doing well now and you might be able to see the difference. So let's switch it off. That's it off. That's it on, and my arm is arm's length. Put it a little bit closer, you might be able to see the difference in the light hitting my face. I don't think I'd vlog this close. You don't want me this close to you, do you? <laughs> so that's the normal vlogging distance that I do. And uh, we are using the GoPro Hero 7 Black and the uh, Aperture M9 LED light. And I'm hoping it's uh, going to give me good results and that your advice was correct because it was a little bit more expensive but it's got some great features like the fact that you can just charge it up I don't have to carry AA batteries around with me because I've nothing else that uses AA batteries but uh, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus that is on top of the uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black that uh, charges using the same cable as this light. So that's great because I've already got that in my camera bag. And I am gonna let you see exactly what is in my camera bag that I'm taking to Australia with me. That trip's coming up very soon, getting really excited about that. So uh, I'm gonna let you see what I'm taking with me um, for anyone that is interested. So I'm walking into a bit of a dark wood now. Uh, very low light in here. So this will be an interesting test for the light. And uh, I've enjoyed my, uh, my little walk around Stores Hall Asylum, as it was known, and a uh, little, uh, little trip back in time. And like I say, they didn't get everything right back in the day of uh, treating uh, mentally ill people, uh, but uh, we've come a long way from padded cells and uh, drilling holes in people's heads and uh, electric treatment and stuff like that. We've come a long way, and uh, I actually do believe that there's a place for things like Stores Hall Hospital in, in this uh, modern world, in a modern version of it. Um, so uh, I think uh, I think might see a bit of a turnaround on that. I mean, I did say that there was a bit of a checkered past to like Stores Hall and many institutions like this. I mean, there are plenty of stories of uh, young, uh, young girls coming to Stores Hall having had a child out of wedlock and they remained here for the rest of their days and they became institutionalized. So uh, if you've got anything to add to that, uh, please do. I'm really interested in the history of this place and it holds a lot of memories, good memories for me, uh, coming up here in my 
dad's car as a passenger, as a child, picking my mum up from work and seeing the patients milling around. And from what I've heard, um, most of the patients weren't trying to get out uh, and they were really well looked after and, uh, and protected. And that's, that's the main, that's the key word, isn't it? Protection, because they're out in the community now and, uh, and they are vulnerable. So if you have enjoyed this vlog, a little look at the uh, M9 LED light as well. Uh, that's what we were doing. That's it on and that's it off. We're in the darkness of the wood. So I think you'll really see the result now. So I'll switch it on. It's just coming to full brightness and it's at full brightness now. That's it back on. So I think I, can, I feel like it's a lot more powerful than the, uh, than the Godox one. So uh, if you've liked this vlog, give me a like and of course consider subscribing. And until the next one, bye.